There's a great success story at the Indianapolis Zoo, and you can see it every day of the year. Just watch this video of Max and Mila, two orangutan toddlers playing. If you're there when Max and Mila are hanging out together like this, it's hard to leave the orangutan center. Our John Stair went to the zoo to show us why keepers there are celebrating these two as a major breakthrough. Sometimes it's the little things. In the zoo's orangutan center, it's the little ones that draw you in. I think he's kind of a miracle baby. The miracle is Max. He's the little guy on the right, playing with the zoo's other one-year-old, Mila. Max came to the zoo with his mother, Kim, earlier this year. Kim was grossly overweight, and Max was lethargic and barely alive. Keepers put her on a strict diet. He was a tougher case. My thought was, you know, if we can get him to the point where he's climbing, then I think we can manage whatever else issues he might have. Okay, so that is his trick, yeah, right there. It turns out that Max couldn't climb because he had low thyroid function. But it took doctors from Riley Hospital for Children to diagnose and treat him using equipment and medicine designed for humans. He and his mother are now thriving. Of all the successes here at the International Orangutan Center, and there have been many, the story of Max and Kim is among the best. When they came here, their prospects were poor, but now they're an important part of the group. Ann Russen studies orangutans in Borneo and says good stories like this in places like the Indianapolis Zoo show people that it's possible in the wild, too. If you don't think they're important, then you're not going to care what happens to them. And if you don't care about them here, you're not going to care about them on the other side of the world. Where their population is shrinking by about 80 percent in the past 75 years. But here in Indianapolis, the work to save them will continue, one case at a time. At the zoo, John Stair, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.